Football Scran, a big subject on whether a football club produces really good food or some absolute shite. So today I'm travelling up north to visit the club I think has the best football scran in the 92. So which club is that, may you ask? Whole City Football Club, oh my word. I visited the stadium earlier on in the season and I was left shocked by the food. Not even being biased, not taking the piss, this is by far the best. And I'm going to tell you now, I'll probably get something else as well. So I'm feeling a little bit peckish and in need of some scrap. And yes, I'm genuinely travelling four hours for this food. But if we talk about the football for a second, <laughs> and yes, there is a match, Hull City are playing Middlesbrough in a fight to make it into the playoffs. We've got a good scran, really good fans, and a brilliant match to back it up. Remember, I am on the road to 100,000 subscribers, so if you are new, please subscribe. It's getting down to the business end of the season, and I'm excited for this. Right, folks, we have made it to Hull. We've landed. We're here! Oh my god, it's the famous DJ as well. And look where we are now, folks. The whole city stadium. I always love coming here. But before the game, we're actually doing something very special. Marcus, you may not may not know him. He's a YouTuber. And we're going to be joining him on a run. But here's some more information. Marcus, also known as the whole boy on YouTube, is running a mile every day in April for the charity Mine. I met him at the Football Content Awards and loved his positivity and passion for YouTube. He's bettering himself by doing so. And as I am going to the whole game, I wanted to join him and do the mile with him. The link will be in the description for you to donate as well. Come on in Marcus, how are you feeling about this run then? Oh, I'm nervous you know, I'm with famous Josh. <laughs> nah, <laughs> it's all about you mate, but you've been doing this for like, what is it, nine days now, this is your 10th yeah, day, yeah. so how are the legs feeling? They feel like tree trunks, I've just been hit by an axe <laughs> honestly. Eddie is joining us as well, the famous <laughs> Hull DJ, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm a bit nervous, me, I haven't run in a long while, so let's see how it goes. I mean it's all for Mark, it's all for the charity as well, so let's just see how it goes. You don't want to injure yourself before the DJ and performance later mate. I know, I know imagine that. <laughs> Well in, lads. Well in. <laughs> well in, mate. Go on, mate. How do you find that? I'm dead. It's really good to see you push out the end there, mate. And uh, all the best for the rest of the month. And make sure you donate. Link will be in the description for it. I'd take a draw at this point. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're now heading to the pub after that mile run. Really good to do that for Marcus, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I was proper buzzing for him. We kept pushing him like, throughout the run. I mean, it was good, good to it see was... him. Good to see him. Oh, and run. smiling as well. Like, he's doing it for such a great cause. Now we're going to the pub. I'm not going to have a beer because I'm driving four hours after the game today, but nevertheless, I'm really excited for this match tonight. And so, uh, do you know what? It's not even about the football, it's about the DJing, isn't it? Yeah, it's all about the DJing, mate. I, <laughs> I've got some heavy tunes lined up as well now. Excited for tonight. Hopefully Hull can do it as I'm in the home in the whole city stadium. We're a bit late in traffic. I think the kickoff may be delayed and I'm excited to get in there for the food. I'm not going to lie. Are you excited for your DJ set, mate? I am, but I need a wee first. I'm busting. <laughs> I'm not going to lie after being there in that traffic. I'm desperate too. It is a cold night here at the MKM Stadium. Today we're going to go inside because I'm really hungry and I need the food. Let's hope for a cracker tonight. These games normally are quite anticlimactic and end like 1-0, one 1-1. -nil, one -won, so hopefully we can have a little bit more of a cracker. Right, we're inside. Let's hope for a good atmosphere. We want that good atmosphere. And that starts with a DJ performance. Look at the selection. You've got a hot dog here. You've got five-piece chicken and chips. Oh, the dirty dog. They've got a few good selections, I'll tell you that now. Even a loaded fries, cheeseburger as well. What haven't they got? Like, I'm not being funny. They've got a pie, they've got the katsu box, and that's exactly what I'm having. I have travelled four hours just for this. Cheers. Look at this beauty. Genuinely, this is just on another level. Look at that for some footy scran. No wonder why it's the best in the 92. And if it's not the best in the 92, tell me where it's better, because it's... <laughs> a difficult one to beat. I'm going 2-1. Philogene and Seri. I'm going 2-1 as well. 1-0. Uh, Delat. No, not Delat. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's not playing, lad. <laughs> um, Cavalio. Cavalio. Yeah, Cavalio. I'm going 3-1. I can't tell you who's going to f***ing score. Oh, the Tigers! Look, the food is all consumed. It's a 10 out of 10. It's the best grand in the 92. Look at the stadium inside, by the way. But the main person here, Eddie Richards. Look at him go. Here we go. We're in the boogie now, I tell you. We're in the boogie. <laughs> He's got the tunes on, look at that, look at the deck by the way. I definitely can't do what he does, I'll tell you that now. It's taken me six years to get to here. Whole fan, and he's doing it at his own club as well, deserves massive respect. But look at this for a gaff. We were right as well, this kickoff has been delayed till eight because of all the traffic, there's been so many issues with a train line or something. So it's been delayed 15 minutes, but nevertheless, we're hoping for a cracker.
the lads even on the big screen now. He's big time around it. Light show going on here before the match. I just hope it's a good game to be honest for both clubs. It's vital. We all know how good the Middlesbrough fans are as well. Like for both fan bases, the two great clubs, good atmosphere. So combining to one should be good. Middlesbrough fans are making some good noise pre-match. Although well, I don't want to say too much because Reece Lee will uh, boost his ego by saying that. And here we are then, the food's been good, the atmosphere's been good, the teams are coming out. It's a massive, massive game. It may have been about the food and coming up here, but the football is really important. I really just stated the obvious there. We'll move on. That is loud every single time. And we have kicked off here. That is not the start how I wanted at all. Not at all. It was just one ball over the top. And they put it away. Literally four minutes in, ball over the top, easy as that, easy as that. Um, worst time, mate, worst time. Such a poor goal to concede. Ball over the top and he just rifles it home. But in your eyes, it's still nil-nil, Eddie. In my eyes, it's still nil-nil. I didn't see the goal, so it's nil-nil. I'll be honest, I did not expect that start at all. Oh, my God. Hull oh, really have not started well at all. Go on, there you go, there you go. Get the ball in. It's not bad as well. Here you go. Oh, tell you what, atmosphere. They may be one nil down. Fans are still behind them. There's opportunities here. They're singing, you're getting mauled by the borough. I thought I was going to see Eddie do the mauling tonight. Uh, mauled by the borough. They're a lot more brighter now. They're, oh, that's it. Ball here. Tell you what, that was a really good ball across. I thought it was going to be a goal. They may be one of down, but momentum's with them. Got to get the goal soon. There you go. Oh, that's a ball. Oh, what a save. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you've got to give the keeper credit there. What a save that was. Oh! What did you miss? It was offside, and that's why it's all been put off. There's no way you can move. I don't know how it's not 1-1! Come on! The atmosphere in here, man. Despite them being 1-0 down. Insane. Yeah. Oh, Philly. Philly with a skill. That's a good ball as well. Yeah. They're back in the game. And there is the equaliser, the goal they have deserved. They have really deserved that, they've been pushing, they've been pushing, and they've got the goal they've deserved. Good morning, good letter, 1-1, one, one, game on. Yusuf is a Middlesbrough fan, and there you go, 1-1. One, one. Oh my god, what a touch that is! He's got to take on Ailing here in the box, he's got to take him on. We got. Oh! Oh! Hey, he's got some fast feet, I, I was struggling to keep up. 2 1. Oh. Tell you what, Hull have really deserved this. They're playing better since that goal. Do you know what? I think that first goal probably helped them to wake up a little bit more and play better. When he's on the ball, you just feel like something's going to happen. There you go, there you go. there's an example. Hold on. Shut up. It's off the line. That was so clever as well. Ailing. I'll tell you what, it's not liked around here, but he's just kept Middlesbrough in the game. Hold on.
literally it's from an interception. Last time was about the fans being underrated. Today he's really shown it. Mate, what did I say? I said there's a goal before half time, 2 1. And, and there you go. Seri! Seri! Well, the first time he came here, Seri scored the second goal. He's done it again, and I think oh, it could be 2 all. It, 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 hold on a minute here. Ah, it's all yeah! right. It's all right. Oh, that, that first goal from Middlesbrough. I said it's pretty woken up hole so much. I tell you what, I wanted a cracker. This is definitely a cracker. This atmosphere is ridiculous. And this is why I always love returning to Hull City. It never disappoints. And that is our time, 2-1. What a half of football that's been. What a half. Really good, and the atmosphere as well, insane. Really enjoyed it, on to second half. This is massive if Hull can win. Here we go, second half's about to begin. Are you going to get in three points, mate? Yes, I think yes. we are. Oh, no. Wow. Now, that was an opportunity. Oh! Oh, my. That's good defending in the end. Corner ball, nearly 3-1. This could be trouble. What a tackle! That tackle was as good as the goal there. Hold on. He said goal notification and then Philogene over a kick missed it, but realistically, maybe he should be scoring. They literally just missed a good chance and they could pay. That is what happens when you don't put your chances away. That is what happens. And it's 2-2 two -two here. An absolute goal fest. They missed a golden opportunity themselves and they go up the other end and score and equalise. That is what happens when you don't put your chance away at a top level. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the DJ's happy. The last thing he wants actually is me putting a camera in his face, let's be honest. Time for a biscuit break hole. Uh, it's not, it really isn't. It's been the second half with not too many chances, but the one hole did. Should have put it away. Oh my god, here we go. It's saved. Massive, massive chance. That should be 3 2. Oh my days. Oh, squeaky bum time. No, what's he done there? That's a red card all day. What's he going to give? I think it's a yellow actually. A yellow, he's giving a yellow. Seri for Connolly, they're definitely going for it. It's only three minutes though. And that looks like it's about to be it. Season's over for both sides. 2 2 draw, been a cracker, atmosphere's been great, food's been great, everything's been good. Just the result, not the one whole city wanted. And that's season over. Season's done.